Hello, what's going on? Jeff Hardy, the Charismatic Enigma here, and you are watching the Common Sense Ain't Common podcast. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good, some rosy on the wood. Standing on the shit so you can get it understood. It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn Something rosy on the wood And bitch, I got the bell so you just get it understood It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good Bitch, I'm that damn good Yeah, yo Yo, 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 yo Bro, I just met Jeff fucking Hardy, okay? Listen, <laughs> I don't have any notes I don't have any of that shit, bro I just met the legend, the legend in the flesh that is Jeff Hardy. So firstly, let me just, let me just, before we go through everything, I'm because I'm still just kind of sitting here, the, like the fact that he did this intro for me, I have watched this intro 20,000 times at this point. I cannot believe I actually got him to do this intro. The intro was literally my sole purpose. For getting this ticket. My sole purpose for getting this ticket was for him to say, yes, this is Jeff Hardy. And 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 you're watching the Common Sense and Common Podcast. And these ain't cheap tickets. These ain't cheap tickets. This was a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet for five minutes. It was literally just me and Jeff in the room. Security was standing at the door with a timer. Uh... Like, it was like, they was legit, no joke. Like, it was no playing around. It was five minutes. But it was, I feel like it was worth the money. It was legit. It it was legit just us in there just talking. Um, first things first, Jeff Hardy to AEW is confirmed. <laughs> it's confirmed. He slipped up and he said, I'm really excited to team up with Matt and work with the Bucks again. And then he said, oh, I mean, possibly work with Matt Um and possibly work with the Bucks again. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. What, what you just say? He said, oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, possibly. I mean, possibly. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What you mean, possibly? It ain't no possibly, Jeff. Come on, don't play, don't play games with me, Jeff. Don't play games with me, Jeff. It ain't no possibly. You're going to fucking AEW like we all know with your brother. And he also told me that he doesn't know how long him and Matt are wrestling anymore. Um... So, you know, I really only see like maybe a year or two left in it for them. Really three at the max. Jeff Hardy signed my title. He signed a shirt. Um, I'm literally on Amazon right now looking for a shirt case to hang this shirt up. The shirt isn't even in my size, okay? It doesn't even fucking matter. It, it doesn't even fucking matter. I literally just met Jeff Hardy just now. Is this a, is this a common sense ain't common or is this a, 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 a quick 10? Like who fucking cares what the name is? Who cares? Who honestly cares? I just met Jeff Hardy. And bro, if you go back and you watch the episode, episode 19 with networking. And in the intro, I came out and I was doing the Jeff Hardy dance. You remember? I was doing the Jeff Hardy dance. And then I said, something big tomorrow was happening, but this might be the last time I'm in studio. But then I said, you know what? I might be so excited I just come home and record. That's exactly what I do it. I just came home and I record it. It was a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet. We did the meet and greet. Uh, that was about two hours. And then after the meet and greet, it was a general meet and greet. Um, and then we were first in line for the general meet and greet as well. And then after that, they had a uh, like a concert or something. But honestly, it took two hours to get through the, the, the private meet and greet. And honestly, for all that money I paid, I probably should have stayed for the concert. But there was no way I was going to wait for him to take all those pictures. I mean, there was people literally wrapped around the building. He's probably still signing autographs right now. He's probably still signing autographs. Or or if he isn't, he just stopped. And I'm just like, you know, I, I don't know if I want to stay for this. You know, I got to work in the morning. You know, I, I got everything that I need. Jeff was really cool. Jeff was cool as fuck. Cool as a fan. Um... I'll go ahead and post the videos. I basically, uh, the conversation I had with him, I, I was literally standing there reading off of a, um, 
off of a sticky note that I made earlier today, and I didn't care. I was talking about the heel turn that he did when he joined Immortal in TNA. I told him that was like one of the best heel turns they had, and then we started talking about the broken stuff, and then that's how he brought up the stuff about the Bucks. Um, what else did we talk about? Um, I told him thank you for all, oh, and then he he we also I told him um, I'm happy he didn't cancel the uh, the meet and greet. And he said WWE allowed him to do it. So it is WWE approved. This is a WWE event. Of course, WWE's logo isn't anywhere now since he's no longer in the WWE. But this is a WWE event. Um, but he signed everything. I bought a shirt. I bought a picture. And then he signed my title. So the title will no longer be being played with in the intros and anything like that. I'm going to have to get another title. If anybody want to get me a title for Christmas, that would be great. Because I, I, this title isn't leaving the case anymore. Bro, I just met Jeff fucking Hardy. Like, look at all these pictures. We were literally in the locker room just taking these pictures, just standing there talking, taking these pictures. And then this picture was at the actual, uh, like, general meet and greet. And this is where he signed the shirt and stuff. Um, and when he signed my stuff, he actually put D-A-N-E instead of D-A-M-E. And then I went back and I was like, oh, bro, it's an M, not an N. And he, he changed all that shit and was like, oh, I'm so sorry about that, bro. Like, he was cool as fuck, bro. Jeff was honestly cool as fuck. I honestly felt like I was about to die. And then it was a dude that went right before me and he was like, oh, shout me out on my vlog. And shout out to you, bro, because he actually did subscribe to my, um, he actually did subscribe to, to the podcast. So shout out to bro. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to the podcast. I did leave the meet and greet with a couple um, with a couple subscribers. So shout out to y'all. Nice meeting all of y'all. Um, if you want to look at more pictures, more videos, check out my Instagram at dame.don. But bro, what the fuck? I just met Jeff fucking Hardy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. And I believe this was his first public appearance since being released. I believe it is, but he is taking like a full tour. And I just want to say, look at how God works because when I woke up, I think it was Tuesday, yesterday, I woke up and it was literally the first thing I seen on Instagram that he posted that the meet and greet wasn't canceled. It was literally the first thing I seen. Like, look how God works, bro. <coughs> like... This is just crazy, bro. I smoked two blunts. I don't even feel them. I'm not even high. I'm not even high. Like, I can't believe I just met Jeff Hardy, bro. Like, I'm high off life. I can't I can't get any higher. Like, bro, honestly, let's just think about the year. Let's just think about the year right fast. This year, I met Bianca Belair, Dominic Mysterio, Nikki Ash, Mandy Rose, God's Greatest Creation, Sonya Deville. I was also their fan of the week. Um, and Jeff Hardy. And that's not even to mention the the John Cena following me on Twitter and and Charlotte Flair reposting me and liking me and uh, uh, Jade and uh, like it's not even to mention the social media interactions. Like, bro, I'm just I'm flabbergasted. I don't have anything else to say. Again, if you want to see the full pictures and videos, go to Dame Dot Don on Instagram. Thank you for listening, bro. I just met Jeff Hardy. You gotta get that universal. I know it, man. I did dream about it for a minute. Gotta go back and get it, man.